Hi folks, Dan Dale here with Total Sales Solutions where we sell diesel trucks, the occasional RV or camper, sell them almost exclusively on eBay. Today we've got something of a rarity. It's a bright red diesel truck and for some reason down here in Mississippi, we just don't hardly ever see bright red diesel trucks. I don't understand why, but we don't. Anyway, this is a 2003 Chevrolet Silverado 2500 HD four wheel drive with the Duramax diesel engine. And just to get out of the way, this truck has 313,000 miles. But believe me when I tell you, when you're here looking at it, you wouldn't think it had that many miles. If we told you it had 60 or 70,000, you'd believe us. This truck is super clean, super nice. It's obviously spent its life out on the highway, but let me take you on a quick walk around. Then I'll show you under the hood and take you on a test drive. First thing you can see up front, it has fog lights, the headlights and signals, they're all just crystal clear. They're not fogged. They're not uh, dirty or filled with dust. This bug shield is not hiding anything behind it. For some reason, my guy just threw the bug shield on. I don't know why, because it didn't need it, but we had it laying around, so we went ahead and stuck it on. You can see the hood not beat up. I mean, there's a few little rock pecks here and there, but nothing serious. But look under here in these uh, wheel wells. Mississippi truck, zero rust, only two owners, got a great set of tires, got these nice Weston full length Nerf bars that, you know, let you get access to what's in the bed too. And these bars, trust me, they are not cheap at all. This truck has pretty much everything you can put on one. It has the uh, Bose stereo, has heated seats, memory seats, got a keyless entry, you can look under here, carpet's not wore out, messed up, steering wheel's nice, headliner's not sagging or anything, although headliners for some reason don't look as well in the videos as they do in person, but this, this is a good headliner. Armrests aren't chewed up, these seats are just perfect, no rips, no tears, I mean just, just, I mean perfect. This is a southern truck, so of course zero rust even the door jams are nice and clean so you can tell this truck hadn't been out on the farm in the fields or whatnot look down here in these cab corners rust free throughout got cup holders down here flip up armrest cup holders here got rear defrost has rear vents for the ac or heat this is your uh rear stereo controls you can plug headphones in and let the kids listen to something uh, while you enjoy some peace and quiet um, you look down the front of the cab front of the bed's arrow straight and that's one thing you want to look at because a lot of times especially if people have four wheelers they'll ram them up in the bed and they'll bend that all up but not the case here look underneath these frame rails i mean just brand brand stinking new the bed is in nice shape, hadn't been cut for a gooseneck, four wheel drive. One thing we did, the tail lights had that usual delamination, so we put LED tail lights in to give it a nice look. Got a big receiver hitch, got your uh, trailer brake plug, of course full size spare underneath. Under there, everything's nice. Look down the sides, no dents, no dings. Like I said, just a few rock picks here and there. Mostly, you can see one, two, three, four, you know, not much. So this truck hadn't been one of those trucks that's been out on farm roads and stuff. Of course, we have a gravel parking lot ourselves that's got it mostly, most of this dirt you see. But um, looking around back here, all the seats are nice. The, uh, they flip forward give you a little extra room you can see still has the jack look underneath not a bunch of rust on the seat frame or anything which can happen especially if you're being used too hard of course this guy across the street will be playing with his weed eater but 
has power seats on both sides, heated seats on both sides. Look in the glove box. Got just a stack of books, records, uh, all that good stuff. John Star, um, just a bunch of receipts, loan paperwork, uh, other receipts. But I want to show you in here, you can see GT4 and G80, that's 373 limited slip. NZZ is the skid plates. Uh, it's got the, the LB7 engine, that's the, the good Duramax. The early ones were just a pain in the butt. Have lots of injector issues, but uh, these 03 and ups have a lot of upgrades that the older ones didn't. Big console. No cracks in the dash. Dash is clean. Bose stereo. Look around here. Super clean in the wheel wells. Paint's nice. Bumpers are straight. Just a, a clean, clean, I keep saying clean, but really that, that'll be what you're thinking too when you see it. This is not one of those where the pictures are hiding anything. When you get the truck, whether you fly in or have it shipped, you'll be happy because it's just as nice in person as it is in these pictures. So if you have any questions, give me a call. My name's Dan Dale. My number is 601-376-9869. It's an 03 Silverado 2500 HD. And I forgot to check, but just to confirm, yeah, it's got the Z82 and Z85 packages. That's the heavy duty suspension and trailer towing packages. 1SZ, which means that's the, the LT package. It's the most loaded up version there is. So anyway, if you have any questions, give me a call. 601-376-9869. Now I'm going to show you under the hood, then we'll take it on the test drive. Okay, before we do the test drive, just want to show you under the hood a few things. First of all, we don't clean under hood. This is just how this truck looked when it came in. So you can tell hadn't been out mud bogging, being beat up and abused. Obviously, to have these miles and be this clean, it's been out on the interstate. But the uh, main thing I want to show you, though, is you can see here, absolutely no blow-by. Now, there's no smoke, but a lot of people confuse smoke with blow-by, but smoke is not blow-by. See, when I set that cap down, it doesn't blow off. If that cap blew off, that would be blow-by, and that's engine compression getting past the piston rings into the crankcase and it's not necessarily a sign of a bad engine but it's just a sign of wear and this truck doesn't have any it's even got january 17 almost brand new set of uh three-year walmart batteries in it so now we're gonna hop in and take you on a test drive okay now we're in the truck now you'll have to excuse my shaky camera work because I'm riding on some of the worst roads in the city of jackson and so even though the video may come out a little shaky rest assured the truck itself has a great ride and drive you can see all these potholes where they paved the street but didn't grind it down first so wherever the manhole covers are there are giant potholes which are worse than the potholes that were here before they paved the street but uh, that's our contractors for you anyway one thing you can take away from all these bumps and stuff that i'm some I'm hitting, some I'm dodging, is that this truck's tight. There's no thunks, there's no clunks, there's no rattles, uh, doesn't make a bunch of racket. This truck fires right up, runs perfect, hot or cold. And you know, a power stroke, you wanna hear it run cold, but a Duramax, you wanna crank it hot because it may crank up perfect cold and run good and go down the road like it should. And then when you cut it off, it may not crank back up until it cools off. And if it does that, it's got bad injectors. But this one doesn't have that problem. Um, so you don't have to worry about that. It goes straight down the road, doesn't pull to the left or right, doesn't pull or vibrate when you hit the brakes. All that stuff's good. Even the radio knobs aren't... Uh, Suppose you see... Oh, turn that down. Even the radio knobs aren't chewed up or... Uh, worn. There's a little bit of wear on the volume knob of the uh, steering wheel, but that's about it. Um, 
this truck, I mean, if we told you this truck had, I don't know, 60,000 miles, you'd believe us. I mean, it's just that nice of a truck. There's one little hole in the dash right here. They had a um, little satellite XM box mounted there, and for some reason my guys took it out. Um, I don't know why, but you can have it if you want it. Just uh, remind me, and um, we'll throw it in the glove box or something. You can put it back in if you want to. But this is the loaded up um, version of this truck. It's got pretty much every conceivable option I think you could get on one. It's got heated seats, memory seats, automatic headlights. It's got got your steering wheel controls. Got your little display in the dash shows everything like distance to empty uh, oil life economy all that good stuff it does have electronic shift four-wheel drive and just so you can see throw it four wheel you see that works put it back to this truck I just I can't go on enough about how clean this truck is I just it has 318,000 miles. I don't know, but it's obviously racked those miles up out on the interstate because trucks don't come in this clean that have been somebody's everyday driver running around town and racking up this many miles. They're just, it's a whole different game. But um, this truck, man, <laughs> it's nice. The only thing I know of that doesn't work is there's a little. Uh, supposed to be a little light up display in that mirror for the uh, outside temperature and the compass heading and that doesn't work and probably not a big deal to fix I think there's a guy on eBay that uh, does that but uh, I'll leave that up to you and, and you know we, we try and nitpick these trucks as best we can because I don't want to risk bad feedback over you know a power mirror that doesn't work or something simple although these power mirrors work and they're hidden behind those little uh, convex mirrors, but it has the little light up LEDs built into the mirrors too. So if you wanted to pop those off, you can, but they're kind of handy. They let you, uh, help you see in your blind spots. Another thing about this truck, unlike most GMs of this era, all the gauges work. Uh, so that's a good thing. They've obviously been repaired by now because usually at least one or more of the gauges uh, doesn't work. But as you can see, this truck goes down the road just like it should. There's not a bunch of noise. Um, doesn't rattle or squeak or bang. If you want to fly in, drive this truck home, you can. We'll pick you up at the airport, no extra charge. We'll bring you back here and do all the paperwork and feedback and everything and let you get on the road. I wouldn't hesitate to load my family up in this truck and drive it anywhere. I mean, it's, it's that nice. We've put probably 200 miles on it I think we went to uh, Hattiesburg and pulled a camper back and it did that no problem you see we're doing 75 going down the road right now uh, with zero issues I just turned the cruise on see the little green light came on for the cruise it works and I'll turn it off we'll start slowing down really when it comes to trucks like this the key is whether it's been maintained you know, I'd rather have a 300,000 mile truck that's had proper maintenance than a 100,000 mile truck that hasn't had any. And this truck, I mean, you can just tell it's been maintained. It's had its maintenance. We ran a Carfax on it. It's only had two owners and it's had, you know, just service, service, service reports all the way down the line. So uh, whoever had it, they took care of it. And uh, it was just traded in at one of the local Chevy dealers on a new one and um, that's who we got it from if like I said we'll pick you up the airport if you want to fly in but if you're like most of our customers you're from the Northeast or the Midwest and you're buying from us because we got great deals and we got rust free trucks and so you know not all of you may have time to spend several days flying or driving down and then driving home. So with that being said, don't let the idea of having to ship this truck uh, talk you out of buying, a, buying it or bidding on it or anything. 
because if you look online at these shipping quotes you can get don't let the prices scare you off because odds are those guys aren't shippers they don't have a fleet of trucks out on the road they're just brokers they'll charge you hundreds of dollars and they'll call it a deposit but all it really is is their broker's fee and what you pay the driver when he drops it off is all it really costs to ship, ship the truck and um, all these guys use the same website that's not open to the public to post their loads and, and for people who are ship the actual shippers to find loads to haul and well we've jumped through all the hoops to join we pay their joining fee we pay their monthly membership fee and everything so we can offer our customers uh, wholesale shipping costs we uh, don't actually ship it ourselves but we'll arrange the shipping we'll find somebody to do it for you and then all you have to do is uh, when they drop the truck off you pay them and that's it we don't charge a markup or a brokerage fee or any of that it's uh just a free service to our customers although even if you're not our customer for fifty dollars we'll be glad to do it for you but um, of course we'd rather you buy from us and then we'll do it at no extra charge but basically um, like i said depending on how much of a hurry you're in you can save a lot now, you're going to save some no matter what but if you're not in a hurry we'll start off with a super low price for a while and see if we can find somebody that's got one empty spot on their truck they're trying to fill and we'll make a deal but uh, if you're anywhere near Houston or Dallas or Atlanta or pretty much anywhere in the state of Florida we can get you a smoking deal on shipping I mean Atlanta is usually about two two fifty just to give you an idea I mean it's dirt cheap so if you're interested in that shoot me an email or a text with uh, your uh, zip code and I'll come back and get you a good ballpark figure on shipping and like I said you don't pay us anything we don't charge anything all you do is pay the driver when he drops it off kind of had to get on it a little bit just to merge in the traffic here but you can see this truck's tight it's quiet there's no exhaust leaks there's none of that extra kind of diesel noise I don't know how to explain it but I can show you if I have one that did it it's just extra diesel engine sound that a, a wore out truck makes and this one doesn't make it so yeah, you can see we've been driving nearly 10 minutes and i want you to look at the dash you can see no warning lights lit no uh service lights engine lights any of that all that's just how it's supposed to be and so you know it's easy for somebody to take a picture kill the light take a picture and say i have no warning lights but if there's a problem and you don't fix it as soon as you start driving down the road that light's going to come right back on so that's why we like to show the truck after we've been driving in a little while so you can see for yourself that there really are no warning lights it has the uh the bose stereo i'm not 100 percent sure i think yeah that's uh that is a six disc cd changer um, the uh, dual zone climate control of course I got it maxed out right now since uh, it's about 182 degrees outside here in the Confederacy but uh, it's nice and cool in this truck and that's the first thing we check around here is the air conditioning so uh, if nothing else works the air is gonna work although like I said uh, just about everything on this truck works it's got the uh, overhead console it's got the little extenders for the visors so you can get all your Sun protection even the steering wheel if you look at this steering wheel just a tiny bit of wear right on the top and that's minimal it's not the leather's tight it's not ripped or torn it had a steering wheel cover on it when we got it we took it off but uh it had clearly done its job of protecting the steering wheel so um, one less thing you got to worry about there's a trailer brake controller down there uh, we didn't use it but they usually don't go out very often it's got uh, extra power outlets it's got a, a big console underneath you can see even heated seats on the other side as well and we're doing well probably faster than I should be I need to slow down but um, this truck's just so quiet it's got a brand new windshield in it the uh, the side this driver's mirror from the look of it I think it's heated as well they just have a little tint to them that uh, you can usually see 
really there's just there's nothing to, to seriously nitpick about this truck so if you're interested like I said I'm running at no reserve but I do have a figure in mind so if somebody uh, makes me the right offer I'm gonna sell it eBay lets us reserve the right to do that before the sales over although lots of people just try and wait and make a good deal and wait till the very end of the sale to make us an offer and you know don't do that because you're just going to cost yourself money uh, if you got a price you want to pay call me and I'll, odds are I'll probably sell it but or if you want if it's still running the last day once it's in the last day I can't stop the sale so it's going to sell to somebody uh, if it's still running that last day so you know if that's the case just beat it uh, bid whatever you're willing to pay and eBay's proxy bidding means that you know like say you're willing to give 50,000 for something the current bids only 20,000 well don't bid 20,100 just bid 50 and if nobody else bids then you'll get it for 20,100 so you're protected from people who jump in with like three or four seconds left in the sale to try and snipe it so you know don't don't waste your uh, cost yourself money or cost yourself an opportunity by trying to uh, lowball and not bid what you're actually willing to pay. But anyway, if you have any questions about this truck, give me a call. If you want to make an offer, give me a call. I'm, I'm open to offers. If you have any questions about it, how it runs or any of that, my number is 601 376 9869 if I don't answer shoot me a text uh, that's especially if it's early in the morning or in the evening or the middle of the night or whatever that's the best way to get a hold of me is just shoot me a text so like I said if you have any questions about it give me a call if you want to make an offer any of that otherwise we appreciate you watching this video and hearing everything I have to say and look forward to seeing you here in Jackson, Mississippi. Thank you.